Good morning. My name is Rafi Mediavilla from Criticologos.com. Thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about the amazing, awesome, fun movie. And congratulations. Thank you. I want to talk, and I, I'm pretty sure you have, you, they have asked this question in, in, in before, but I want to talk about the name because I, I, I think I'm going to have the, the name of the title of the movie tattooed on one of my arms because I love the meaning behind it. And I, I, I want to know if that's if something that was there from the beginning that, that you wanted this movie to be named Sisu. I mean, the story is a lot, a lot tied into the, to the, to the, the meaning of the, the title is tied into the story, but I wanted to know about the background of the name, how it came about. Uh, it, it wasn't there in the very beginning when I had the idea of this guy finding a lot of gold and, and trying to take it to the bank with, with Lapland full of Nazis. But I have had this idea about Sisu before also like it would be cool to have a movie called Sisu so it was quite fast after that when I realized okay this is the movie this is the movie about Sisu this is the movie about guy who's not gonna give up in any kind of situation and he's gonna do what he he was supposed to do no matter what I, I think, I mean, also the character, we see it on the character, with the, the character, by the way, we see, we see that the perseverance and the determination that I'm going to get this done. So we see that, we, you know, we see that the, the correlation between the, the title and the whole meaning behind it. And I wonder, our protagonist is a man of few words. Uh, he mostly does all the talking with the action. But that's something mm. also that was there from the beginning. Or did he li have lines? And I was like, no, let's just keep it to the action and 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 just let, let's do all the talking with the action. It, I had something like three lines uh, in the beginning when I was writing it, like something to talk with the dog or I don't know. But it was clear to me when we started shooting that I'm not even going to use that because it was so nice to to do a film without dialogue. Uh, of course, we have a little dialogue there, but but not with the main actor. Um, it 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 creates better cinema in, in, in my mind to rather show something than talk about it. It is a, to me, it's a audiovisual experience. This is a movie that needs to be seen in the biggest screen possible with the best audio possible because it's a you know audiovisual experience. And one of the things that also stood out to me in the movie is the whole uh, practical effects, the whole visual effects, which is so important to tell the narrative of a movie like this one. What what was so what was the most important part that you wanted to focus? When it comes to the audiovisual part, that that it, when it, very much sure that everything stood out, that that worked, and it, it it seemed perfect. Well, everything was important with the picture, like the location and and all the vehicles and and all the dirt and the clothes of of people and and uh, well, I've watched a lot of action movies and and it even was really important to me how would it look when bullets go through people and how the blood will like fly to, to remind me of like this old school John Wu kind of uh, old shit so I don't know it's it's all like a, everything in that film is something I really love and have been loving for for all, almost my whole life you, you mentioned something, and, and, and I'm glad you mentioned it because it, it really, it's, it, it, your passion for this audiovisual experience translated perfectly to the, to the movie. And to me, I, there's something that I mentioned in my, on my review. It's, this is a, a packed action scene mo uh, movie. And, and to me, it was like, the, just, just, I was, I'm writing in my review, think John Wick, if we throw him in the, in the, in those, in those times, and, and, you know, think the, those, the, the, that style of, of, of cinema, but obviously in, in, in that, in that era, in those, in the specific times, and what, 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 what did you use as inspiration? What was the, the fighting factors that you used as inspiration to build this, uh, the story? The inspiration is, basically old westerns and 
and uh, John Wu and and uh, First Blood and Mad Max and and all that films with with I grew up with there the whole whole thing is is there and and this uh, I, and I think it's a bit like a really nice foundation basically to build on uh, and and trying to make my own version of that kind of films. Um, uh, obviously, this is a movie that needs to be seen. This needs to be seen in theater. It's not going to be the same experience as as, as you would see in a streaming service or, or even theater. Like, uh, what what would you think? What would, do you feel it would be the impact that you expect people to get from the movie? Because I, I, again, I think the meaning of the story is uh, the name of the, the title. It, it's it, it's very significant. But what would do you expect people to get away of, of, aside from just having fun and just disconnecting for a while? Well, I'm pretty sure people will be surprised the ways how the story goes and how Adam is surviving and how he's basically not giving up and killing every fucking last one of the Nazis and and um, and uh, well, I think the uh, what's the word? Something to learn about the film is probably uh, which I've been saying that. After the film, you basically know that not to fuck with the Finns. So <laughs> that's something. That I mean, I I had a lot of fun watching the movie, and I, I absolutely enjoyed it. And I, I'm gonna go see it in the theaters because not, again, it's not the same thing watching the theater but I'm watching the theaters is a to me is an audiovisual experience. And I want to congratulate you once you congratulate you again for a, for a really awesome movie. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>